Hi, this is Bryce at Red Pine Labs. Today we have part three of our latency test. Um, this will focus on deviation compatible transmitters. Uh, deviation is an open source project that originally was started to open up a Devo transmitter, um, like this, this is a 7E, and allow them to talk other protocols. Um, with radios like this, you crack them open and you could solder in different chips if it wasn't the one chip that's in there and be able to talk a variety of other protocols um, such as toy ones or DSM, FR Sky, Fly Sky. And since, since then, a uh, Chinese company Jumper released a couple radios um, that are really nice put together. Um, a little smaller than Tyrannus with Hall Effect sensors. But these have all four radio chips built in, so it's ready to go to basically talk most any protocol in the 2.4 gigahertz band. So they don't support Crossfire or FR Sky's uh, R9M natively, like there's not a chip on there, but there's a module bay in the back that you can, you can plop one in there, and away you go, and you can... Um, use Crossfire. And it actually uses Crossfire on the faster serial mode. So it, um, it's pretty comparable to what you see on Shranis. Um, so what I'd like to do next is do a compare, show a comparison of the, of the latency tests I've ran. And if you want to learn more about how I did these, check out the first, first two parts. Um, this will be a comparison versus um, deviation running FR Sky and deviation running crossfire. When I do other protocols in the future, um, I'll, I'll make sure to um, test them against the deviation as well to see if that's faster actually than the than a native um, transmitter. So I'll pull that up. So on to the data here. I have a couple different graphs of ways to look at this. Um, this first one is just the 500 uh, runs, uh, checking the latency, sorted worst to best, <clears throat> or best to worst, and you can see it's this particular red line is about 16.7 milliseconds to 33.4 milliseconds, and that's the OpenTX um, FR Sky on a Tyrannus talking to a spy receiver. And I'll, that's mostly for comparison against deviation. Um, and if I scroll down, the seems to be better way to look at it is a, this histogram. So this, these, this bottom axis is milliseconds. So we know, you know, this blue one is the same one up there. Sorry, the colors don't match. But um, we go from about 16 to 35 milliseconds. And this, as it goes up, is just the number of counts that fall in of the 500. So, for example, at 25 milliseconds, 53 of the 500 counts were in there. And this kind of gives us good worst to best case. And then it also allows us to see kind of what the shape of where, where these lie. Like, is there a lot of, like, like OpenTX where it falls out a little ways? Or, it, like, these other ones where it's fairly straight where they will be between. For the first comparison, um, this is FR Sky, uh, and I removed the other charts on here. Uh, what you see is the green one right here is this is deviation running FR Sky X. Um, I did all my testing with FR Sky X just because FR Sky D was a little slower, and I'm mostly interested in what's the fastest and what's the best. Um, this yellow was ER Sky on a Tyrannus. Red right here was a deviation as well. And this is um, before I had made a couple mods to it that allowed it to go faster. Um, currently, this is if you get deviation, this is the one you get with these couple um, simple mods that I did. And then HexFet um, did them in a you know, different, better way. Um, you'd fall into this green. And then this blue is OpenTX um, for comparison as well. So this kind of shows that uh, deviation running FR Sky not, pretty much knocks the socks off of everyone else. Um, it's 6 to 16 milliseconds. 
and the next closest is ER Sky on a Tyrannus. That's 11 to 22 milliseconds. And even if you're running deviation uh, without these um, changes that are soon to be checked in, you're still doing much better than this long, um, slow one out that's 16 to 35 milliseconds. So clearly, uh, FR Sky is uh, the way to go. Uh, FR Sky with deviation is the way to go. And part of what makes it do better is on the deviation board, you have a, you're talking directly to the radio chip over SPI. Um, on a Tranus, you're talking from the chip on the Tranus to a radio, separate radio chip, which talks to the um, CC2500. Um, so you, you, that second microprocessor is getting in the way, and it seems like FRSky is not really doing stuff in the best way possible. Um, so you kind of get a worse case of a lot of um, things lining up. Uh, ER Sky does does it does it better as you can see here, but you're still fighting what's happening on that radio chip. So it's really easy to just drop down um, five five milliseconds at the very least to ten milliseconds just by switching over to deviation, which is great. One thing I wasn't explicit on with these tests is that. These are all SPI receivers that I'm using for comparison. So OpenTX is talking to a SPI receiver, which there's only a few boards, the Maytech 411RX uh, and a Crazy B board. Um, if you're using X4R, XSR, it, you basically are taking these lines and you're shif shifting it up. And you can look back at my previous FR Sky video for a better comparison on that. Um, I didn't lay all that out here just because I wanted to focus on finding what was the fastest or lowest latency protocol that we can use. So what did we uh, learn from all that? Um, basically, deviation is doing something right in comparison to a Tranus. Um, it has lower latency. It runs FR Sky way faster, um, faster than Crossfire. Um, there, and there's a lot of flexibility being able to talk to the chip or a bunch of other toy protocols. You can fly your uh, DSM, Tiny Whoops, all that with this. So I've switched to flying this radio pretty much exclusively now, and I'm going to keep doing it in the future. So hope that was informative, and thanks, and have a nice day.